Um, obviously, that's a great win for uh, our guys in the program. Um, there's no question in my mind that LSU is an NCAA tournament team, and obviously got some guys on the team that's going to play basketball in the NBA at some point in time. I think they're a really talented team, probably the second most talented team in the SEC. I thought in the first half there was three things that hurt us. Um, the offensive rebounds, um, they killed us on the boards there, so we had to address that. The second thing is we fouled way too much and got to the free throw line. And then towards the end of the first half, we started to turn the basketball over. So I thought that's the way that they scored. And so if we could address those three things in the second half, um, then we'd have a chance to win this ball game. Uh, Fred Thomas came out in the second half and gave us a lot of life. I thought Raquez gave us a lot of left in the second half. But Raquez, unfortunately, got that third foul right away. Um, but uh, you're talking about a team that's the number one scoring team in the SEC. And uh, we did a great job on them defensively and did some things offensively to help us win this basketball game. Uh, I told our team before the game that we had played well against Georgia. We had played well at Ole Miss. Each individual person on the team just needed to do one thing. It doesn't need to be a huge thing, just one little thing. If each individual person does one little thing on this team to help us get this win, then it will come to pass. But I think our guys focus in, whether it be a closeout, whether it be a defensive rebound, whether it just be a rotation on defense. So I thought our guys did some things there to help the team win. Fred mentioned that y'all went over some two-minute drills in practice yesterday, and it obviously seemed to help with a 19-10 run. Just talk about that. I don't know if it helped because we were pretty bad <laughs> there down the stretch of the game. I mean, the worst thing you can do in those situations is foul. We fouled three times. Um, so. Um, we got to continue to do late game situations because we've been in a lot of close ball games. And so we don't want a late game situation to come out and bite us because we haven't covered it. So we just want to put those guys in those situations and practice. Now you can talk about some things. Even at the end of the game there, I think it was about a minute and 30 some seconds left and we got the defensive rebound and we had the ball and we went in and we threw the ball right inside to Gavin right away. And it's like, hey, fellas, you guys haven't post-fed Gavin all game long, and now you want to post-feed him with 32 seconds on the shot clock. So he gets it in there, and I knew they were going to post-trap, and so I didn't want it to go in there right away. So post-trap, he travels. So that's the worst thing you can do is you want to take time off that clock. So we'll use this as a learning tool. It's best to use it as a learning tool after a win. You don't want to use it as a learning tool on a loss. What was different down the stretch, though, from a Georgia and Ole Miss where you're trailing with, I think, 355 to go, but you come back and actually win? Well, I, I thought our zone was the biggest difference there. Um, you know, you you got to be careful when you play a zone. you got guys like Hornsby out there who can shoot the basketball. Josh Gray and Quarterman can really get into the teeth of the defense. But then you're really more worried about when the shot goes up on the rim because now you don't have specific blockout assignments in that zone. But I thought our zone really kind of put them on their heels a little bit because I thought they started the game with Josh Gray in some ball screen situation and started to break our defense down. So we wanted to try to zone and end up being beneficial for us.